So hi. 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 So I tried to get you to do this on national television for very many years, and you refused. Why? Because my husband said that you go on coffee with Karan, and the first word you'll say is penis, and then you have to go back. Is that he has a problem with the word penis? No, he doesn't want his wife to go down saying penis, penis, penis. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, well done. Uh, before we make this like the AIB roast and Amir Khan will storm right out, uh, uh, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to make it about the book. Uh, I'm going to make it about the book. So, uh, just like every other member of the media, what is the book about? It's about you, Karan. There's a chapter in it says Karan Johar celebrates Karva Chow. There really is a chapter. There's a part of me that really wants to do that, you know. <laughs> um. It's about how a modern woman looks at India and how India looks right back at her. Right. We live in a world where uh, we have sent a satellite to Mars, but we're looking at the moon and praying for our husband's long lives. I do it. My sister-in-law makes me do it, forces me. So, um, you know, and the, the thing about writing about India is um, our economic backgrounds are often very different, but our cultural references are always the same. So, a movie star's uh, child will have a black thread around her wrist, and so will a tailor's. And um, I try to find things that are, uh, you know, sort of a common thread, literally, between all kinds of people. and um, and. Look at India in my own sort of wonky way. Well, your yeah, wonky way has definitely gone quite far in succeeding. So well done on that. And I'm sure much to the amusement of your family and your husband, who's always politically correct. Uh, I, I don't know how he really reacts to the things you write on a daily basis. Uh, he, uh, I have many editors. He's my first editor. And he makes me remove uh, words and phrases, lines. Uh, he's made me remove Pakistan four times. Uh, he tried to make me remove load just from my last one. I'm writing a column on Radhe Ma. He so he's yeah. your in-house pet, Raj Yeah. Alright. Yes. Okay. Alright, wonderful. Well, okay, you know how it goes with, with this coffee banter that we have like what I call the rapid fire, where you're meant to actually kind of um, Dodge the questions cleverly because very rarely do people really answer them honestly. But I'm hoping for, that is not the case with you. So are you ready before we storm into it? Yeah. Because you yeah. Know, because I, I didn't think you were the type for me to continue gushing about your book and you accepting those compliments. Yeah. Because we all know the book is going to be super supremely entertaining, and that's why we're all here. But it's not really about the book, is it? Twinkle. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Now you're dead. So please, before we go further, now that he's done this to me, I have to say a few things. We were in boarding school together and uh, he was constantly hungry for some reason. So he kept telling me to rob food from him, from the canteen, from everywhere. Finally, I got fed up. I said, why don't you run away? I can't rob any more food for you. And we were on, at the edge of a hill. So I said, roll down the hill and Chikli Valley, take a boat from there, run away. He rolled down the hill. They caught him. They made him climb back, it took him two hours, and then they made him an example in the assembly. He was standing next to the principal as his fugitive. So, and the principal said, Do you know what this boy has done? <laughs> Will you try and do it? I was made into some kind of a guinea pig on that stage. It was the most humiliating experience of my life. And I was all of 12 years old, and I was, by the way, Amir, in the same school you shot Tari Zameen Bar. Yeah. So when I saw the film, I was a mess because that same shot I had done, I sung that Ma song in my head right through those four days. Then I was going to go back and Ma, very Ma, that how could you send me to bloody boarding school and torture your only child you had? And I want to tell you, my father was at the top of that slope in that hill that you shot him. And when finally he came, I ran up, literally like a Hindi film hero, into his mom, into his arms, and I said, "Papa, I beg you, I'll never eat. Take me back home." <laughs> because I was so traumatized because of her. She was really, really. She has scarred me. I'm telling you, right? He wasn't traumatized. He's confessed. He was in love with me. I had a little mustache at that point, and he should look at it and say, "That's hot." I like that I will slap you 377 times. Twinkle. All right. Okay. All right. Three things about you, Twinkle, that no one knows. My other names could have been Sparkle and Sprinkle. That's all. 
Tina the real name is Tina. Yeah, I want to know about this name. Like the pet name is Tina, the real name is Twinkle. What were you thinking? And she's telling me, why don't you call your daughter Chinar? I said, you know what the nickname will be? This is my mom's idea. So yeah, we don't ask her for names. Uh, clearly, not, uh, clearly, at least we have to give full credit for originality. Yeah. 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 All right, so three things about you that no one knows. You said yes. One. Two, my mother thinks my sister does everything better than me. Okay. She runs a house better. She's the Martha Stewart of India. Mm. Uh, what is the third thing about me? I have to raise everything. Everyone has everything. Yeah. Yeah. Your life is an open book, literally. It's a, yeah, it is. It's an open book. We're going to open the book, yeah? Yeah. yeah you didn't have to explain that. <laughs> All right, okay. What does your husband have that other heroes don't? A few extra inches. <laughs> In high, perfectly. <laughs> All right, size can shatter and matter. <laughs> All right. If you can ban one thing in this country, what would it be? Maggie. Man? Maggie. What? Maggie. Maggie. Uh, Maggie. Two minute noodles. We don't want them in our bedroom and we don't want them in our kitchen. <laughs> we know Amrita Singh started that ball rolling. Yes, I know. <laughs> All right, okay. I think Abhir is going to leave the room. There is. <laughs> All right. Which heroine should be cast according to you in Akshay's next movie? Uh, Jaya Lalita and they can do the cape crusader. <laughs> I'm not even reacting to that. That's my expression. Uh. So you know why I said that, Amir? No, I have no idea. I have no idea. Because apparently she said that if Mela flopped, she would marry Akshay. So you helped. <laughs> It was a disaster. <laughs> I packed my bags and I said this, Rupa, dekho, a bit is done with. Yeah. So, did you know that? that no, I had no idea, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad I contributed to that. <laughs> so, you, so anyway, I just want to add that uh, Twinkle constantly, you know, misuses me. Uh. And she made me the videographer on her wedding with Akshay. Uh. Yeah. I was ordered to come and start shooting. But wh why did she think that you had a special expertise in that department? No, she just was giving jobs to various people, so this is the job that landed up with me. <laughs> is that what has your experience been with her? Because did you did you ever think she was a good actress? No. Oh. No. <laughs> Once he asked me, why, what are you doing? Why are you behaving like this? You're not even focusing on work. I said, I'm thinking about Akshay. He almost slapped me. But I still remember when some outdoor. Did I know? Yeah. I want to have reacted that way to that idea. Yeah, you just made a face so, and Amir, you're always known to be very honest about your opinion. Did you really think she was a good actress? I thought she was fantastic. <laughs> I thought she was fantastic. No, no, I'll ask you again. Maybe you're being a little intimidated by the surroundings. See, do you think she was a good actress? Shut up! How many, how many times? No, I couldn't act. I'm very happy I quit. <laughs> well, you know, all of us have different uh, abilities. <laughs> and, and no, and I mean that. And, and Twinkle is really talented in, in some of the most uh, uh, amazing, you know, Activities like insulting people. <laughs> <laughs> She's an expert in insulting people. I mean, all through my life, my since I've known her, she has just constantly insulted me. But what is the what is the most hurtful insult that has been hurled towards you? No, I can't remember that. There have been so many. Yeah. Hurtful, most hurtful. Maybe you remember. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was just a normal one. Yeah. There are worse ones. So, what has your experience been with her? I mean, like, you know, she's been... What has your experience been with her? Like, as well, actually, I had a pretty good experience working with Twinkle. Uh, it was great fun working with her. We got really close and... Uh, no, I, this is very boring. Why are you, like... Just say some, like, funny things, like how I found you. You were crying behind her back. I can't compete with you and Karan. Yeah. No, you were like, crying behind her back. So, this is what actually you happened. You got him crying behind a rock. He was sitting behind a rock. So, he had gone to the director to explain this shot and the director didn't listen to him. And this is Amir, you know, he's very serious about his work. So, he was heartbroken and I was looking for him. Where is he? And I went and there was this massive rock and he was sitting behind it and he was crying. Poor fellow, how sad, Amir. You were upset <laughs> because Dharmesh Darshan didn't listen Look to Look at what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what she's doing. <laughs> That's so now you have a you know, sample of what she constantly does to me. But, but it was really good working with her because I discovered that you know, behind this uh, 
uh, bimbet kind of uh, <laughs> exterior. <laughs> there was this, actually this really sharp w person, you know, who had a great intellect, had a great sense of humor, and, had, and was extremely perceptive about human relationships, human beings, and I found that quite fascinating. Eh? No, he's saying all this, let me please tell you. So in the beginning when I started writing, I actually have a quote in my book because it was him. So Sarita Tanwar, thank you very much, who asked me to write this column. She said, you're this voracious reader and uh, you crack lame jokes all the time, so why don't you write a column for me? So I told him and he said, hey, you know, everybody in India watches cricket, doesn't mean they can play. So I actually took that quote from him. <laughs> and then when I started writing, I would send him links of my columns. And he would tell me, this is rubbish, and send me links of Satya Me Me Jayate or Satya Me Jayate. Every day, okay? <laughs> so one day I sent him a link of my column saying, you know, it's doing really well, I'm trending at number seven. And he's telling me, my show is number one. I said, you're a big time movie star, the prime time TV show, i has been actress with a column, but he still competes with me. He competes with everybody. You finished? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I really didn't think she would make it as, an, uh, as a writer. Uh, so I was very concerned for her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it is out of concern. I was not being funny. Uh -huh. you know, I was just concerned that I was telling her, you know, that everybody watches cricket, but not everyone plays it. It was out of concern, you know. This, this is the encouragement. <laughs> and there's my oh, husband. Let me finish. finish yeah, let me finish. My husband let said, yes. Finish. What happened? I wish the cat so would get your tongue. Huh? Let him speak. <laughs> So anyway, I was, uh, when I started, began, you know, reading her articles, I was really blown here. Yeah. I thought she was very good. She made me laugh. She was very perceptive and, you know, it, it's okay to be a person who's funny and, and perceptive and, but to actually also be able to write that and, and create that on, on paper is not easy. So I was most impressed by her. Yeah, well, she has done really well for herself. Give it up then for Twinkle Khanna. Thank you, Amit. You are not sit here. Oh, okay. You cannot go anywhere now. You are prime time superstar. You cannot go. Prime time superstar. <laughs> and we have to call the man who is actually tolerated to twinkle uh, for more than a decade. Please welcome our husband, Akshay Kumar. Come here. No, no, no. No, no. Firstly, my deepest condolences. Uh, my apologies on behalf of the film fraternity. We come from film families, so we must apologize that these are our products that are on display. Uh, so we must say that. And thank you, thirdly, for accepting our girl with open arms and giving her a life. <laughs> my pleasure. He's quite proud of her. He has not agreed with anything I've said. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, but tell me, uh, you have many fights with your wife? Do you fight a lot with her? Do I fight with her? Uh, yes, I do. You do? Uh, yeah. And who's the first to make up? Uh, obviously me. It's me, you know, because um, we have rules in the house. Um, rule number one, funny bones is always right. Okay. Tina is always right. Um, and rule number two, the man of the house has to keep on saying sorry, sorry, sorry all the time. <laughs> so I'm the guy who keeps on going and begging. So. And then rule number three. To be honest, isn't that the rule? No, there's no such rule. There's no such rule, okay. There's no such Fine. And, okay. and the third rule? Rule both of us. No, that's all. Yeah. There are too many rules now. Okay. <laughs> no, I can completely imagine. We know she can make you laugh, but when is the last time you think she made you cry? I think uh, last, uh, I think last week only when she saw my film Brothers, uh, uh, she said... Um, Good things. I liked it. I, I'm not saying you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me speak. Uh -huh. I think uh, she, she saw Brothers and she said, ah, you, you work so hard and you're such a strong man. I know you'll protect me for the rest of my life. So I started a little bit, you know, I was a little bit emotional about it. Oh. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, I have this thing. I like men who can like kick someone and kill them. Do you know, know Karan? Um, uh, when she married me, you have to tell them about. Uh, she made a whole list why she should marry me, and it's a, there's a, all my. <laughs> please go ahead, Dina. Yeah. Apparently, this is something very few people do, but I think it's common sense. So when I married him, I'm going to have children with him. So I made a genetic list. 
you know what diseases run in his family I or I was in ill yeah <laughs> this is like serious stuff yeah huh? this is actually yeah but and i hid it in a drawer and he found it so he's like well, what are you are asking me at what age my uncle lost his hair and what you know who has cancer and if i'm not keep asking him that seriously twisted tina why it's practical and did he pass on various accounts i have two children and both beautiful so well done on genetics then all right fantastic so if you had to describe her because we are all from the fraternity we had to describe her as a hindi film title akshay what would that hindi film title be um saas bhi kabhi bahu saas bhi kabhi bahu that is a i would say she is um, uh baby um she is like a deadly mission with a very 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 happy ending <laughs> so <laughs> you know that has all kinds of meanings <laughs> listen i don't know what what how you going to think about it but that's that was my film and that's what she is she's a baby with a deadly mission and a happy ending <laughs> <laughs> she sounded like something we've banned already i have a new film title that describes trina a yeah, hunter wali <laughs> <laughs> All right fantastic so Tina now your last thoughts on these two men both of them have been a big part of your life in terms of one your husband one a, uh, an actor you've had a tremendous relationship with and uh, what are your thoughts on them being on your panel on the launch of this big moment in your life They lucky they're here you got to be to other people there no deserving but i couldn't find anyone else <laughs> So I asked them. I'm not that's why I didn't mention my name I didn't want this <laughs> insult heard at me I was very happy Well I want to say that you know all credit or discredit for a person's demeanor personality and the general nature comes from the mother so I think we should call the mother on stage right now to launch this book along with these two wonderful gentlemen and if she has anything to say or maybe apologize to us on behalf of her daughter Hi everyone. Uh I had uh, a lot to say but I've been uh, asked not to because uh, after all I am Mrs. Funny Bones mother so it can get just very very bad. But uh, if you all insist and you all must really insist then I would love to share it with you. Please do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must. Should I? Yes. Yes, serious? Okay. Now I don't care how you accept it or take it. Okay, the first time I ever realized that uh, Tina had, uh, she was witty or she could make things up was, I had gone to their house when they were newly married, with Kichra, and it was just me, Akshay, and Tina. So after having the Kichra, Akshay said, "Arey, may I take a soda? Take it out, put some calamari dal ke." Should I stop it? Serious? But I want to say it. Come on. Go ahead, right? So this child <laughs> no words. <laughs> oh, I know. No, no, I have to share this because I I I, I it may be wrong but who the I mean okay. So she goes so many channels. That's all right. Go ahead, have a field day. You've never seen me like this. Go on. Okay? <laughs> So what does my brilliant daughter do with me sitting there newly married both of them she goes oh je pet bigra jaye akshay ne soda paaye paaye ne piyo hawa udhar se hawa udhar se hawa se bhaga kya ye sab bhaga kya nahi bhaga no one is talking to me i did not know that she's my mother i did not know the mean so there are no questions where i get this from mom Please unveil the book. We don't have any more stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we have the book, ladies and gentlemen, very quickly?